Hello, my name is John Baxter. Today, we're going to get Mr. Bones a makeover. Hey, Bones, how did you end up being such a homeless panhandler with your future down the drain, eh? Hey, man, that's a long story. Then tell it to your priest during her next confession and stuff. Listen, man, this is what happened, man. Hey, I had my own business. I had five girls, and they was all over 18 now. I don't like where this is going and stuff. <laughs> Look here, man. Hey, my girls ran their business, and I collected the earnings from them every darn day. Hey, Bones, my biceps are shocked at what they're hearing here. Yeah, man. Well, I called the girls every single day, gave them their job, and they was working hard day and night and even on the weekend. All kinds of clients, but mostly men's. Mostly men, huh? Yeah, his clients were mostly men. That's why he always sleeps face down in the alleyways with his butt sticking up in the air. Man, my girls was happy, man, but their bodies was always tired. And I would always try to cheer them up by checking them out, make sure they was doing their thing, making money and staying happy. Poor girls. But it sounds like they were smoking hot, though, huh? Oh, yeah, man, they was fine. They were so hot, you could roast a 10-pound chicken on their hind end and invite the whole block. You're a sick bastard. Yeah, yeah. I would tell them wiener and sausage jokes because it related to their business, know what I'm saying? And they loved them because they all loved them big old wieners and sausages. Mr. Bones, you ran a call girl service? I mean, call girl service? Man, I ran five hot dog stands. What's wrong with you? We was all getting paid, too. I had a big ass house, two cars, and a wife who loved me so much. All right, so why did your wife drop you like a bad nicotine addiction? Hey man, she claimed she caught one of my girls putting ketchup on my footlong wiener. You have a footlong wiener? No, I ate it, you hillbilly ass, inbred looking just like your Uncle Charlie bitch. You ate your own wiener? Uh, uh, man, hey, hey man, hey, this man ain't stupid, man. Hey, your mama keeps half-eating ballpark franks right under her bed. Well, your mama doesn't even take them out of their package and calls them her men. Man, you crazy. Look, man, she filed for a divorce and took everything except the clothes you see on my back. You look like an army duffel bag with a piece of rotten plywood in it. Hey, I guess the moral of the story here is don't eat a foot-long wiener while your old lady is watching, eh? <laughs> hey, why don't we go get you a homeless man makeover and stuff? We'll put you back on the right track. Man, uh, I don't know. Hey, come on, Mr. Bones. You'll take a bath, we'll fix your hair, and we'll put whitener on your teeth. But we can't do anything about your breath, you know, I think that's permanent. We need to loosen up his cornrows. Wow, she tried pulling your cornrows out and she lost her grip and fell out of the window. Yeah, poor lady, the funeral's on Tuesday. Man, I just couldn't put the new clothes on. That's because you couldn't take your old clothes off. Your army fatigues have melted right into your body. Hey man, they tried to clean me up, but I cleaned them out. When they wasn't looking, I took $300 from the cash register. <sighs> Mr. Bones, give me the money back so I can return it and stuff. Man, I was just kidding, man. Give me a dollar, Conyo. Here's five dollars. Now go buy your mama some ballpark foot-long wieners. 